Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting via a kind suggestion to Blake Shelton, Austin. Let's see what he has to say. She left without leaving a number Said she needed to clear her mind he figured she'd gone back to Austin She talked about it all the time It was almost a year Before she called him up Okay, I'm starting to feel like that like singing away from the mic thing that Blake Shelton does is like a signature thing uh, I love that. I love that technique. There is something, it does something to the music. It evokes an emotion. It, it just puts emphasis on things and words and feelings. And he does it so well. And this is like my second or third video seeing that he does this. So that's why I'm like, okay, can we pin this as something signature that he does? Um, but yeah, it is one of my like favorite vocal techniques that artists use when they kind of like pull the mic away. It just gives you that, you know. It gives you that, that, you know what that is, don't you? Most a year before she called him up Three rings and an answering machine is what she got If you're calling about the car I sold it If this is Tuesday night I'm born in If you got something to sell you're wasting your time I'm not buying If it's anybody else Wait for the town You know what to do And P.S. This is Austin I still love you Wait, Austin is... Wait, wait so he, he said he figured she went back to Austin, meaning Austin, Texas. But she's saying, P.S. If this is Austin, I still love you. Are we talking about the person or the place? I love the concept of the song. I love the concept of the song. I also love the thought of like, beep. Hi, this is Britt. If you're calling me on a Monday, I'm likely doing this. If you're calling me on a Tuesday, I'm likely doing this. Like, I, lo I love the thought of that. It's just, it's cute. Uh, who's Austin? <laughs> is Austin a noun? Well, it is a place. But it's Austin a person? <laughs> I need to know. The telephone fell to the counter. She heard, but she couldn't believe. What kind of man would hang on that long? What kind of love that must be? He left the message. She waited three days. And she tried again She didn't know what she'd say but She heard three rings and then If it's Friday night I'm at the ball game And first thing Saturday If it don't rain So he has a cool voicemail too? So is Austin just a code word for like, I know it's you and you know it's me because I loved Austin and it was all I could talk about? <gasps> I love this song. Damn it, first thing Saturday, if it don't rain, I'm headed out to the lake and I'll be gone all weekend long. But I'll call you back when I get home on Sunday afternoon. P.S. This is Austin. I still love you. Oh, this time she left her number, but not another word. Then she waited by the phone on Sunday evening, and this is what he heard. I'm a sucker for it. A soppy love song. And this one is so, um, it's just clever. It's very unique. 
It's not your typical life. I met a girl. Girl meets boy. Boy boy meets girl. You know what I mean? Like, this is such a cool story. I'm, like, following the fangirling a little bit. Ooh. If you're calling about my heart is still yours I shouldn't listen to it a little more Then it wouldn't have taken me so long To know where I belong And by the way, boy This is no machine you're talking to Can't you tell this is Austin and I still love And I, I was gonna compliment the like Rah! And if you count and count And then he hit me with the little fun And this is Austin Blake you better show us your range on this song now Blake Blake He really is like a gentle giant And I just like wanna hug him And let him sing to me Love you I still love you, baby This is Austin The fire in that Oof. That was like sexy, sweet, and like Everything in between I love that That was a good song does Blake write all his own music? Do y'all know? Let me know. Have I asked that before? I asked so many questions. It's hard to keep up. I don't know how y'all keep up with it. Anyway, Blake Shelton, I just think he's, he's great. I think I have a crush. Have we put him in the PDC? Is Blake Shelton in the PDC? I don't recall putting Blake Shelton in the PDC. Well, let's do it now. What's the harm in doing it twice if I have? Blake, Blake, come here. Come on down. Come on down where the songs are hot and the panties are dropping. Dropping over here, over there, over... Welcome to the PDC, Blake Sheldon. I really can't remember if he's been in here or not, but now I will... It's ingrained. He's a... Come, come on. This right here is a panty dropper. Come have a seat with the likes of Chris Stapleton and Tom Jones. Come on, there's, there's a tons of... There's tons of friends in here. <laughs> anyway, I love that song. I think it was really well written. The surprise of that little like falsetto y uh, note and the growling in there had me going too. He's got a phenomenal voice. Uh, I hope you have the day you deserve. Peace.